My partner speaks another language. How to deal with it when having kids? This is a common question I get asked repeatedly by multicultural couples that want to raise their kids multilingual. If you have a foreign language relationship or an intercultural relationship, you are probably asking yourself how to deal with all of these languages once you have kids. I'm going to share with you my experiences and give you some ideas on how you could do it. Hello there, welcome to Multilingual Family, a vlog for cosmopolitan people like you that helps you raise your multilingual children successfully. On this channel, I share with you tips, know-how and useful material. If you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel and my mailing list. Check out the link in the description below for more support. Are you worried that you won't understand the conversations at the dinner table if you decide to use the Opole method with your kids? Well, let me tell you why you shouldn't be too worried. When I met my husband, we had a foreign language relationship. We spoke for at least the first five years in English because at that time, my husband couldn't speak German nor Swiss German nor Spanish very well and I couldn't speak his native tongue, Danish. So our relationship language was English for a long time. During that period of our lives, English felt good as a relationship language. But as soon as I started thinking, we started thinking about having a family, a lot of questions came up. What language to speak to each other? What language to speak to the kids? What languages to speak all together? Which language methods to choose, etc. And after analyzing our situation for a long time, we decided to change our relationship language to Swiss German because we live in Switzerland. This wasn't an easy decision to make because we didn't know anybody that had managed to change their relationship language successfully after so many years. In fact, we knew of some cases where one person's language level was significantly lower than the other and that rather started hurting their relationship since they couldn't speak on the same level. And we all know how important good communication is in healthy relationships, don't we? Going back to what I was saying before, I was not willing to speak to my husband in German because at that time I was working as a German primary teacher and therefore teaching German the whole day. For me, it was too much to ask to come home to another student. So that was a no-go. But by the time I got pregnant, my husband had learned Swiss German on his own quite well. Good enough to talk fluently to each other and that was the turning point. Since we wanted to raise our kids simultaneously trilingual and expose them as much as possible to those three languages for the first few years, we dropped English as a relationship language. We decided to build other languages like English and French on top of the first three languages at a later point. Please subscribe to get more useful content. Thanks. Now, as I said before, we couldn't speak each other's native tongues, meaning Spanish and Danish, when I was pregnant with my first baby. Did it stop us from using the Opol method with our kids? Definitely not. But it is still our goal to make an effort to learn each other's languages as our kids grow. If you commit to pay attention when your partner speaks to your kids in his or her native tongue or strongest language, you will learn inevitably your partner's language along with your kids. Until now, it is working out. My older daughter is four and I understand probably 90% of their conversations and I believe that it's the sim a similar situation in my husband's case with Spanish. That doesn't mean that I'm fluent in Danish, but I can understand significantly more than four years ago. I'm sure that at some point my kids will exceed my level and leave me behind. So at that point I will need an intensive immersive course. I'll probably have to go some months to Denmark to reach a higher level. And the same goes for my husband, but to Ecuador. What I know for sure is that it is not fun to go on with your life without learning your partner's language. I seriously believe that if you can't keep up 
with each other's languages, you will suffer. Either you end up dropping the OPOL method, meaning that you will start speaking in the mi majority language altogether and stop using the minority languages, or you will be excluded from the conversations and feel left out. Either way, it's far from an ideal situation. So my dear multilingual friends, I want to encourage you from the bottom of my heart to use your minority languages with your kids and make some efforts in learning your partner's languages as well. It will require engagement, but it's worth it, I promise. Let me know how you're dealing with this topic in the comment section and hit that like button to support this channel. Thanks so much for watching this video called My Partner Speaks Another Language, how to deal with it when having kids. Watch my other videos to get more useful information. This was Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.